Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy, disgusting mouth. So viewer discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Hello my babies, hello my little candy cane muffin streusel tops, whatever. Hi, welcome to Dead Miss. And today we have a good old fashioned try on. Why? Because I bought a lot of stuff during, <laughs> during the last Sephora sale and now I'm cracking into it. And I'm very, very excited to do that because some of these products are, I think are actually on sale too. So if you were thinking about partaking in that 20% sale, maybe you might like some of these things. Granted, not everything is available. Maybe there's more like one thing that's not, but everything else is. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about <laughs> Uh, the new palette, the new palette, is this new? The palette from Maple, the palette from Maple Syrup Too Faced. The Too Faced palette, Maple Syrup Pancakes. <laughs> I have a new brand for me. This is CL and I have the tint and protect tinted serum along with the powder. I have this concealer from Colfi, the little Westman Atelier Trio that I picked up, their little holiday bundle, as well as some lip products from Ravi Beauty. Okay, anyway, so um, yeah, my hair is, it's, it's falling already, damn it. <laughs> I can't keep a curl in my hair. This is the best that we're gonna do. Whatever, anyway. She was cute. <laughs> Let me show you how I created this. Um, it was a lot. <laughs> My face is red for most of it, and I just talk about how frustrating everything has been, and um, yeah, it, it was a hoot. It was a hoot. All right. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's see what I used to look like before I look like this. What the f- that doesn't even make any fucking sense. Let's go to the past. Why, hello my little tapioca puddings. How are you? I am doing fantabulous. Uh, today we have a lot of new makeup and I'm super excited to play with this one. For, actually for a hot minute now. This is from the brand Ciel. I almost said Cialis, which is a completely different product. Completely different. <laughs> Oh God. Anyway, the first ingredient in the tinted serum, ooh, SPF 50, fuck me up, yes, please, is uh, water. So we are going to not use Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil today, and we are just going to use the Etude Glow on Hydra Base, because she is a glowy, glowy, glowy sun goddess, and we love her, and I just really am a huge fan of this primer. It's so good. Look at me reading. <laughs> It's not gonna last very long, okay? Ooh, ah, this kind of looks like athletic greens. <laughs> you know what that is? That's what this looks like. So it says to shake, shake, shake Sonora for like 10 minutes. Okay, remember when I said like, I can read. A... Told you that wasn't gonna last very long. Well. It just says shake well, apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. <sighs> I thought it said shake for 15 minutes. So they're gonna be like, wow, that's, that's quite the workout. Not that I haven't done that for 15 minutes, but you know what I mean. Anyway, um, ooh, she comes in a droppy doohickey guy. Ooh, that was satisfying, okay. So I'm just gonna pour it on like buttercream. <laughs> We're just going to massage it into the skin. She's really good coverage, holy shit. Usually when you hear like skin tints and stuff like that, it's usually very, very light, but she is pigmented gonna go over it with the sponge. For those that are curious, I have it in the shade 02 Fair. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. Gonna add a little bit more, do my big old forehead. I like this, this is nice. Now I do see some like redness and shit poking through. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I like just how nice my skin looks. Basically has like a nice light layer, not too heavy, not too bad. Ugh. Just drop a little bit on my nose. That's interesting. Okay, so I think the best way to apply this product is with your fingers and then using a sponge because when you just like use it with a sponge, it definitely eats the product. She is the blob, not good. Okay, so let me just do that one more time because I just see a little bit of redness and let me see if I could just like add with my finger. I'm good to go. <laughs> In terms of coverage, I think this is the best that I'm gonna do, and that's okay, because we're gonna use concealer to fill in all the holes that we have in thy, fa thy face. What is it? Thy face, we have holes. We're gonna clink, clink. Okay, let me tell you something. Okay, first of all, I'm filming this after work, so my brain is kind of mushy. Let me paint you the picture of today. First of all, I smashed my Simply Human mirror, okay? Yes, I know, seven years of bad luck. I know, I'm already living in bad luck, okay? <laughs> 
What's another fucking seven years at this point, okay? That's one. Two, my air conditioner almost broke. I say almost because it's fixed now, but when I tell you, when baby's hot, baby's a monster, okay? And it was disgusting. Like I couldn't, it felt, everything just felt so wet. Everything just felt, I felt wet, the bed felt wet, just fucking existence felt wet. <laughs> the couch just like just standing everything was just so wet so then i had that to deal with Ooh, you know what though before i go any further kind of feel like you don't even really need to set this with powder kind of dries down quickly but like i still have like a really beautiful glow and my skin doesn't feel tight go me okay fuck yeah so yeah okay so where was i okay wet <laughs> just wet and then for work today i had to look through a 4,000 page document to find specific specific things that i found out didn't exist <laughs> so i basically looked through a large document for no reason that's the kind of day that i'm having okay like just not a fun one now before i do concealer i'm actually going to do this stuff from westman atelier i picked this up during the sephora sale and i believe it's still available during the sephora sale so let's see if this is worth checking out we're gonna start with the bronzer this is biscuit your name is biscuit <laughs> Ooh, biscuit oh that's fun okay we're going heavy, I know, I know. I'm gonna, just, just, just trust the process, all right? Just trust the fucking process. But let me tell you the funniest part of my day. My factory order comes in tomorrow, so I don't have anything to eat for lunch. And today, I don't know, I was just, listen, I have been craving egg salad. I don't know why, I just want egg salad. I just want good egg salad. So Alex is like, you know what? I can go for a pub sub. And if you don't know what that is, that's a public sub. Probably the best thing about living in Florida is a fucking pub sub, but anyway. He's like, I can go for that. I was like, you know what? I want literally just like a half sandwich of egg salad with lettuce, tomato, and onion, salt, and pepper. That's all I want. That's literally all I want. My body's craving it. Okay, no problem. He's like, I will definitely put the order in. We'll do order pickup and uh, I'll get it to you. I'll bring it to you upstairs because I know you're working today. Okay, great. So <laughs> he texts me. He goes, hey, you're gonna wanna have to come downstairs for this one. I'm like, okay. So I go downstairs and what do I see? I see no sandwich. Instead, I see two, <laughs> two containers of like egg salad, you know, just like straight up deli egg salad from Publix. And then a huge container filled with lettuce, tomato, egg, and onions. And I'm looking at it and I said, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, me too. I went to Publix. <laughs> and when I went to go pick up our order, that's your egg salad. And I said, what? He goes, that's your egg salad. That's how they gave, they gave it to me. And I asked the guy like, hey, this is not what I wanted. I wanted like egg salad sandwich. Cause even on the receipt, it says like, you know, bread, <laughs> fucking bread. And literally the guy, apparently all he said was, I don't know. <laughs> so Alex is like, well, okay okay did you make the sandwich like like do you know who like you know like someone else made the sandwich like he goes well, i made it so alex just looked at him for like a minute guy looked back at him and was just like <sighs> so i asked alex i'm like hey was the guy like young because that's the only thing i could think of it's like maybe this kid was like a kid maybe he was like 17 or something like that he doesn't know the concept of egg salad that's that is fair that is fucking fair you know egg salad is pretty just basic and bullshit right maybe they have never heard of egg salad he was like well he wasn't that young he was definitely like probably around our age and i went did i have there's no words <laughs> fucking excuse for it the only rationale that comes to mind is that this guy must have been so fucking high to think that egg salad is legitimately <laughs> just a fucking salad of lettuce tomato and onions and then chopped up fucking eggs it was almost as if it was like what a cob salad except like take all the good things <laughs> out of it that was essentially my lunch and <laughs> I mean, Alex is a sweetie. He bought bread. So, you know, it was kind of like a choose your own adventure today. But I'm blaming the simple human mirror <laughs> because I think that really just kind of set the tone and between the air conditioner and everything. Oh my God. <sighs> It's just one of those days. And I kind of want to just be like, hey universe, what are you, what, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do in a previous life or maybe like last week that just, I, 
I don't like everything I touch or do just fucking goes wrong. Just goes wrong. But anyway, that was my lunch. <laughs> but you know what though? Egg salad, it slapped. It really did. It hit the spot. Even though I had to put it together myself. <laughs> it was so pretty fucking good. And for that, I say thank you, Publix. Thank you. I like biscuit. I think biscuit looks pretty good. It's like a nice neutral option which is really good. She's not too heavy, much as I want to just keep lay <laughs> layering her on. She's not too heavy, she's not bad. Now that we have that down, I'm gonna go into the shade Petal, which is a very beautiful shade. <laughs> I just happened to just catch myself in the monitor and was like, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you doing, bitch? What are you doing? Blend, blend, blend. Happy to say that this product is really, just, oh, it's just beautiful. <laughs> I mean, listen, we're gonna fix her, okay? Don't don't you worry. But uh, yeah, no, she's cute. All right, we're looking good there. And now the last thing we're gonna do is use the highlighter in the shade Nectar. And I'm just gonna, oh, okay. I thought there was actually gonna be kind of a color, but it's not really a color per se. Ooh, all right. Just love how glossy it is. Down my nose. We are extra AF today. Ew, extra as fuck, I'm sorry, ew. The curse, the curse, I tell you. Between this and <laughs> the fucking not opening mail in a timely fashion, mm-hmm. She is very glowy, very pretty. Oh, I love this, this is cute. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Kulfi Main Match Concealer. I was gonna try to add other words in there, but that didn't exist. This is in the shade Bad Badam, Badam. And there, and yonder, ooh. Oh, she's creamy. Oh, I like that. I like how lifted that looks. I'm just gonna go over it with a sponge. And now I'm gonna use a little bit of it to kind of just clean this area up. I really like this. I like this a lot. So the next thing I'm gonna use is the setting powder from, I wanna say Cialis. Ciel. Oh my God, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> it's the curse. So this one is SPF 30. We love that. And oh, packaging looks really cute on this one. Nice. So what do I want to do? Oh, how fun. I like the little powder puff. He's cute. All right, let's see. I'm gonna break my fucking, oh yeah, yeah, it broke my nail. Broke my fucking nail. Cialis, what are you doing to me? All right. Broke my nail. Great, thanks. These things need to be. She is. She. She. Woof. Okay. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? I don't think I want to go all over my face. So I think what I want to do is just. Uh, <laughs> I think what I want to do is just like, just. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. 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 Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I don't love this. I don't love this. I don't love this. Why don't I love this? So this is in shade 01. She's like so caked. All right, maybe this. No, okay. <laughs> uh, I was just gonna try with a brush because maybe that's what I need. So I'm just gonna apply just a little bit of powder on my nose and then like right around the yonder points and go in with okay <laughs> you are a thick thick bitch oh but i like it though okay i like it why don't you kind of like work the kinks out <laughs> she's cute okay i kind of want to like powder the rest of my face but i know if i do that then everything that i worked for is dead fuck it <laughs> we are already here baby we are already here so we're just gonna just add a little bit of powder I don't want to do too much. Yo, that fucking highlighter though. That's good. No, oh, I just melted her away. I really like the powder. I think it's really nice. I'm a little um, kerfuffled though, because it's kind of messy. But once you look past the mess, she's good. She sits very beautifully on the skin, which is amazing. So, all right, what I'm going to do is, <laughs> since I, I literally just... <sighs> since I took away all that product, let me go put some more on. BRB. It's all good, man. It's all good. Okay, you know what? Uh, before I jump into my eyeballs, let's uh, go in with some lipsticks and finally get to try Rabbi Beauty. There are, I only really wanted it honestly because I just love the makeup bag so much, which I will feature that in my makeup bag video coming up very soon, but let's see. Oh, finally, something is, is just making me very happy right now. This is nice. This is in the shade Dahlia. Oh, this is something I would totally fucking repurchase in a heartbeat. I love the color. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the M Cosmetics. Oh, fuck. 
I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it right here. That's what it reminds me of. Just a really beautiful formula. Now there are other colors, but I will use those in another video. I, I don't think I want to take this off. I'm having that kind of a fucking day, okay? She's staying, she's staying. Okay, so let's move on to eyeshadow. And I figured why not? <laughs> <laughs> just fuck up my face more right actually like I don't mind this um it was a lot of this was my fault <laughs> it was fine um I just uh yeah I didn't have to put powder all over my face I just chose to do that so all right we're gonna go in with the maple syrup pancakes Too Faced palette I bought this because I am a stupid bitch that's pretty much why I bought this so let's see how this fares oh these shades are light <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks a little bit more promising. Less promising. Oh, swatch wise, not great. Not great. I think I went a little too bronzer heavy. I look like I'm coming back from vacation. Like I was on a cruise all week. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I was just down in like, you know, Turks and Caicos. Like that's what I look like. It also doesn't help that my face is red just out of sheer aggravation. So that's also nice too. Love that for me. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eye primer from Sigma. If you ever wanna try this, I have a code with them. Use the code. <sighs> Teresa's dad and save some money off your order. Yes, the code is an affiliate code. So if you do use it, I do get a small kickback. The shimmers in this are incredibly disappointing. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. This is an, uh, why did I, why did I, why did I get this? Oh, because I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's why. I totally forgot about that. Oof. I just don't even know what to, what to do do you're not inspiring me and that's a problem and i also just feel like shit so it's like not it's not making me <laughs> it's not making me happy it's not making me happy but uh hmm all right let's just i don't even know what i want to do like that that's just that's where we're at right now i don't even know what i want to do because i feel one super just not inspired to how is this maple pancakes um if anything this is just ugly bullshit pancakes uh, that's what i would call it where do i i don't even know where to begin right. <laughs> i'm gonna go with flapjack it's just yeah we're just gonna go with flapjack <sighs> Ooh, she is very powdery but she seems to be doing all right. Kind of wild that this, uh, is it wild? No, I don't know, Too Faced. <laughs> I love the Italian spritz palette. It's one of my favorite palettes from Too Faced and it's just a lot of fun. And that's what I was kind of hoping that this was gonna be like a sleeper hit, but I don't know, like it's, it's, it's fine. But as someone who is a basic bitch, I, don't know, I just don't feel like super inspired by this one. But the color does build up, so that's good. That's good. I'm trying to turn my frown upside down today, all right? I really am trying. I'm fucking trying. We're gonna take powdered sugar and we are going to, why is there sparkle in this? Okay. Um, uh, okay, okay. All right, we made our bed, we made our bed, okay? So this was a very poor decision on my part. Um, it's a poor decision on my part. <laughs> Um, you know, when I swatched it, it didn't look like it was going to do that. Okay. Kind of hoping that I wouldn't have glitter everywhere, but here we are. Um, okay. So I'm just, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use that anymore. I'm just going to go into a pressed powder. That's it. That's what I wanted. All I see is fucking sparkle all over me now. That's great. Oh, I don't love this. I'm going to go into the shade Haute Cakes. So let's see, an outer corner shade. She seems fine, that's good. We love that. I am getting a little bit of patchiness with that one light brown shade, just a little bit. Hopefully I can add some of this darker shade in there and it won't look so disgusting. Here's hoping. All right, I think I just need to switch up the brush. This looks a little bit better. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened, okay? <laughs> it's like, okay, I guess we're doing this now. We're gonna just go all over the lid. It doesn't matter anyway, honestly, because the shimmers are just so fucking lackluster in this. Not really that excited to put it on my lid, but we're still gonna press on anyway. Um, I'm trying to find like a, it's a problem is that they're not, you know, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna try Get Sticky. Get Sticky, it sounds fun. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that I'm gonna have a better experience with this one. Fingers crossed. Take a little bit of NYX glitter glue. Oh, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. I, sorry, I'm sorry Too Faced. That is impressive. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, when you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> 
and I'm usually mm, fucking 90% of the time wrong. So this is good. Is this slowly turning my frown upside down? I think it is, which is good because mama was not happy. I don't hate this. I don't hate it. She's nothing to look at, but she's reliable though. And for that, I say good. You know what? It's all good. I like this. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay, no, I like this. This is all right. I'm gonna take the brown shade again and I'm going to line top lash line with it. I'll try anyway, cause it's not really taking. Oh, kind of. Ooh, actually, you wanna know something? I'm really excited. Death Cab for Cutie <gasps> and Postal Service <gasps> is gonna be coming to Orlando and I, <sighs> can I tell you, this is my era's tour. <laughs> This is my fucking Taylor Swift tour. I love Death Cab for Cutie. I love Postal Service. And I'm so sad that I couldn't see them live this year. And I'm so happy that they're going to be coming to Orlando in April. So the tickets go on sale this week. And I just, I need to, I need to go. I'm so excited. And if anybody that lives in Orlando that's going to be there, let me know. I don't know why. Just let me know. <laughs> Just let me know. I'm curious. <laughs> I can't be the only person that likes postal service here. I can't be. I mean, I am. Either way. That's the only thing right now that's like turning my little frown upside down. Besides, you know what? My makeup actually doesn't look that bad. My makeup looks kind of cute. So I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into sleeping in. I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner. Yeah, she's, she's, she's kind of junky. So not all the shimmers I feel like are created equally here. I think I just got lucky with that get sticky shade because it feels like kind of metallic. This one, not so much. I'm gonna go into the shade short stack. I'm gonna go in with some mascara and then we're going to do the other eye look off camera. Okay, so I feel like we went through a lot of trials and tribulations with a lot of this makeup and I'm happy to say that I like a majority of it. I think a majority of it is pretty fun, actually. I'm kind of really surprised. So let's talk about the foundation, the tinted serum and the powder. I like these products. I think they're really, really fantastic. I actually really love this tinted serum. I think it looks beautiful. The only thing that was kind of weird is that when I applied it with a sponge, the sponge ate it, but if I just kind of use my fingers and then blend it out with a sponge, it looks good. Actually, don't even think I really need to use a sponge. I think it's just force of habit. But if you were just like fingering your face, rest assured, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's sitting on top of your skin. It looks like it's melted in. So this is good. I have to see if they have a concealer. I'm curious. I don't know if they do though, but I like this. I want to try more products from them. And it's funny, every time I look at the name, I want to say Cialis really, <laughs> really badly. And I have to go to the website to see how it's pronounced because I want to say like Cialis and it's not. It's Ciel. Ciel. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is good. This is good. The powder, the powder was interesting. First of all, I didn't love how it like looked on top. I was like, what the hell is this? Like, did something happen to this? And when I used the actual like sponge, which a sponge is pretty cute because I just love that green color. The sponge was okay. It wasn't really doing anything for me. In ways, I kind of felt like maybe it was too big for my under eye area. But then when I started kind of like using it around my face, it felt fine. And then ultimately I went over it with like a little powder brush and I love it. I like how this looks on my skin. I don't notice any sort of like dry texture or anything like that. I love how it sits on my nose. Actually, both products, like even if I didn't have any powder, this looks beautiful on top of my nose. It wasn't drying or anything like that. Actually, to go back to this for a second, I don't even think I really need to use powder to set this because this does dry down and it dries down in a way where your skin still looks very vibrant and fresh. Kind of reminded me of, um, oh fuck, what was it called? The Nimya shit that, whatever, the glow serum, the one supposed to look like your skin looks like hydrated and fun and fresh and all that shit. But in reality, it just felt really tight and dry and like garbage. That's not the case with this. <laughs> this actually looks really incredibly hydrated, except it's dry, but it's not drying to the point where it's just like tightening up your skin and making you just want to rip your face off. This is good. Okay. So going back to the powder now, I feel like it's super comfortable. I like that it's lightweight. I love how it looks under the eyes. I love setting my whole face with it. This was good. I think though, from now on, I'm just going to really kind of utilize probably a brush more with application and if I do decide to use this for my under eye area which I think I will do actually because I really like how this looks I definitely am going to go in with a much smaller sponge say like this guy that I got from Amazon I like the little pointed kind of a tip it really just kind of goes in that under eye area so much nicer than the little fat boy here so in any case I really like this I think this is actually really nice I can't wait to continue to use it and I'm really really surprised super surprised so love this love this to pieces oh 
kind of going back to the foundation <laughs> for one second. The coverage on this is definitely like a light coverage. It's more like a light to light medium. And I feel like if I do try to build up the product, it doesn't really do much of anything. It kind of just looks the same. So that's where concealer comes and saves the day. So the Kulfi concealer, this is fantastic. This is really good. I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> <laughs> to continue to use this. I loved how it looked under the eye. I love all the additional coverage that it just, I don't know, basically filled in all the holes where I felt like my skin was really red. And granted, my skin was red for most of this video because I was recounting how fucking awful <laughs> today was. So um, yeah, my emotions, they were strong. They were strong. <laughs> And I can still feel it right now. Like my skin is heating up. Oh my God. You definitely like cook a fucking steak on my neck right now. Anyway, this looks beautiful under the eyes. I loved again, how it just like filled in all the little pieces. I think it has beautiful coverage. I loved how it applied with a brush. I love patting it out with the finger. And I also loved how it kind of cleaned up like, you know, my little jowl area when I got a little bit too wild with the Westman Atelier products. Like this is fantastic. And even though this is like purely a first impression, if this keeps going the way that I think it's gonna go, this is gonna be one of my new favorite concealers that I found this year. Like I love that House Labs one, but shit, I could kind of actually seeing this kind of like rival it a little bit. So I'm excited, but yes, this is really good. I think it's like a nice medium to high coverage. You can build it up. If you do build it up, it doesn't look cakey or weird or anything like that. It's just good. It's a good concealer. It's hydrating, it's comfortable, and she does everything that I want it to do. <laughs> We love her. We want to keep her employed. So yes, we love you. Now moving on to the other cream products from Westman Atelier. So it's funny because initially I wanted to buy the other little holiday bundle, but I think it was like 160 and I was like, that's a little too rich for my blood. So instead I got the one that was $80, which is still a lot of money. But in this set, you get a nice bronzer, a blush and a highlighter. The bronzer, very beautiful. It's a really nice neutral tone bronzer that I feel like brings a lot of just nice, just beautiful warmth to the face without it being too much. Love the blush. I think it's so pretty. I also love the fact that both of those products in general didn't disturb anything that I had underneath. Everything looked perfect and wonderful and lovely and yay, makes me happy. But the highlighter though, bitch, the highlighter is a standout. That is like wet skin personified and it's just so gorgeous and I just want to slather my whole body in it. Like that's get the shit out of me. I want to slather my whole body in it. Like that is so good. I need to go see what other highlighters they have because if anything is kind of, I don't know, somewhere within this family, but I guess maybe a different, do I really need another one? I do. <laughs> Do I really need? Yes, no idea. Uh, but I definitely want to see if there are other highlighters that will definitely work for me. But I was just fucking impressed. So impressed. Like I couldn't believe it. Something that I thought it was going to be like some hoity-toity bullshit was actually like alien slut personified. So good. So if you do happen to see that set and you are on Cooked Chicken like myself, you might, you might think about checking it out. Also too, what I like about the highlighter in particular, and the highlighter is called Nectar by the way, it has a transparent base. Well, not really so much transparent. It kind of has like a light peachiness to it. Very, very light peachiness to it. But I feel like this would just look good on anybody. I don't know, like even as I kind of start to like buff it into my hand, that peachiness goes away and it just looks like just wet alien slut love. <laughs> Just, I fucking love it. I love it. So I was very, very happy with this one. Let's talk about Ravi Beauty. Now, granted, I only tried one of them, but I just, ugh, fuck, this is perfect. <laughs> This is perfect. So this is the shade Dahlia. These are really, really good. These are really good. I th initially thought they kind of reminded me a little bit of the M Cosmetics lip product, but it's almost like M Cosmetics and Shantikai had a baby. That's what these are. I love how incredibly soft, but just supple and beautiful they feel on the mouth. I love the opacity of this color. Like if you want like more of a sheer finish, you just kind of apply it once. But if you want to build it up to be a little bit more pigmented, you can. It doesn't look too much. I love that it doesn't like slide into the outer corners, giving you like that weird awful gummy kind of joker mouth. It's just such a comfortable, beautiful formula. And as someone who has incredibly dry fucking lips, like dry, dry, dry mummy dick lips, this is beautiful. This feels good. And this is something that would live in my bag for the end of time. And now I kind of want to try the other shades. Hold on, hold on. Let's try the other shades. <laughs> So this is the shade Lily. She's on the lighter side for sure, but she's really, really nice. It kind of reminds me of like a tinted lip balm in a way, just in terms of like opacity. She's pretty though. And then we're gonna go into the shade Tulip which is definitely brighter. This is a beautiful shade as well. I'm actually even more impressed that all three shades are fucking fantastic. And they're all shades that I would wear. Usually that's not the case. It's either one or two, never three. The fact that it's three, that's pretty fucking impressive. So I cannot wait to see what other colors this brand comes out with because if it's anything like this, I am just going to be a little pig in shit. <laughs> 
I'm gonna be very excited. This is really cute. Again, I love the formula. It reminds me of M Cosmetics and Sean Takai, they had a baby. This is what you got. It's so good, love it. Plus also the makeup bag, adorable. It's adorable. Okay, so last but not least, let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about this monster here. I have never felt so uninspired, um, which is funny because I bought it. <laughs> I bought it because I was like, you know, I'm just that bitch. I'm a stupid, stupid bitch that buys stupid, stupid shit. And uh, yeah, it's very, very funny because when I actually had it in my hand, I didn't really know what to do. And instead I just did this, which is something that I probably could have created at least 75 fucking times in my current collection as it stands. Um, the mattes are okay. They're not bad. I did notice a little bit of patchiness, but once you kind of like build up the product, it, the patchiness does definitely go away. But yeah, I mean, she's okay. She's all right. I think uh, what was really kind of shocking and I say shock, like that's fucking dramatic but I was like taken back though is this powdered sugar shade kind of weird kind of weird I didn't expect it to have a full-on sparkle and it was a lot of sparkle but it's also very dusty and very dry so it's weird like, I don't know, it's just very off-putting. So all I have now is just like loose sparkles all up in my eyebrows, and that is great. I love that for me. When I look past that bullshit shade, um, I was really disappointed in the shimmers. Anything that looked kind of remotely fun pulled a very, very weak on me. I think the thing that definitely just uh, knocked my socks off was this Get Sticky shade. This is the only shade that kind of provided any sort of like metallic flair. I was very lucky uh, <laughs> picking that shade. But the rest of them, I don't know, like this is probably one of the worst palettes I would say from Too Faced and not necessarily in the terms of quality I've definitely had worse quality palettes it's just I feel nothing I feel nothing like I don't know I want to feel something more from this and I think online and I, it was just the pictures that I saw fucking from Trun Mood and shit like it just looked I don't know, like it looked boring and basic and bullshitty, but like, I don't know, like it made me want to pick this up. I think I picked this up in Ulta. I think I was in person. Maybe it was something to do with the Ulta lights, man. I don't know. <laughs> But like sitting here now, I just, I was like, all right, well, I don't know. I'm just not super excited about this. Ugh. All that to say, I didn't really have any like extreme issues with this palette other than the white shade just kind of being unnecessary and chalky and just bullshit or whatever. The other shimmers, like they kind of pull very weak. I did use the pink shade in the inner corner and I felt like it barely showed up. Like I had to kind of go back in quite a few times just to build it up. So yeah, I think there's some things that are kind of nice about this palette. And then there's some things that are just like, meh, eh, nothing really too amazing to write home about so i think if you wanted to get a Too Faced, if you wanted to get a Too Faced palette i would say the italian spritz is probably like one of the best palettes they made this year um everything else has been really incredibly i don't know lackluster like it's fine it's not the worst Too Faced palette i've ever used but i didn't need it <laughs> I didn't need it. And I don't think you need it either. I think there are far more better neutral palettes out there that, I don't know, will just, will do something to your giblets. You know what I mean? Like it'll excite your giblets. It's just, this is not exciting. <laughs> if anything, my giblets are folding in half and going further into my body. Anyway. <laughs> Not giblet friendly. I don't know. Just, I wanted more. I don't know what I was looking for. I was kind of hoping, like I said before, it was going to be like a sleeper palette that I was going to be like, damn bitch, this is good. Like you should go pick it up. Even though it's boring and basic, like the quality is streets ahead. And it's not, it's not, it's just okay. I don't know. I feel like I have drugstore palettes that operate better than this. I feel, I, I don't know. I feel more satisfaction with those. This, not so much. I don't know. So I would say pass on that one. You don't really need it. You don't really need it. <laughs> But if you do get it, sorry. Me. Now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these things or if you're interested in wanting to pick up any of these things. Let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, threads, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting, honestly. Garbage butter flow. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces and I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything that I use in today's video, including the things that I had to do off camera, like the bronzer and the blush and the highlighter, everything will be listed in the description box down below. And listen, y'all, see y'all tomorrow. Bye.